Now, this may provide us with some trading volatility next week. The Bank of Japan interest rate decision on Tuesday, the 19th of December. As we speak, uh, the uh, main um, US dollar Japanese yen is poised for a record fifth week of losses in a row. Uh, the pair touching a four and a half month low, as Jerome Powell said, the US Federal Reserve could start cutting interest rates next year if inflation continues to fall. And this has stirred this negative activity here on this chart here, which essentially means that money is going into the Japanese yen at the expense of the US dollar. Now, on Tuesday next week, the Bank of Japan will decide on its interest rate picture. No change is expected. But a Reuters poll shows that 20 percent of economists believe the Bank of Japan will start dismantling the current monetary conditions in January. Over 80 percent of economists expect the Japanese central bank to ditch negative interest rates by the end of next year. Now, I'm looking at this area here where I've got these two arrows as the point of the watershed, if you like, as to whether we see further declines in the dollar against the Japanese yen, or we see this area of 140.57 uh, being supported. Expectations are growing. The Bank of Japan will soon signal a winding down of its ultra low rates policy and the December 18th, 19th meeting could provide an opportunity on that. So how do we trade that? Well, I think the thing to watch out for here uh, is this area of 76.4% Fib retracement support. Now, from the lows that we had there back on the 14th of July uh, to the swing high at 152, uh, when the dollar rose all the way up, uh, sending the Japanese yen into a tailspin. There was no formal intervention by the Japanese authorities at that point. Uh, but when it hit that up back in the 13th of November, all of a sudden, there was an opportunity here to sell the dollar, sell the dollar uh, on some of better data here uh, on this side um, of the economy around the US economy particularly and money uh, coming out of the dollar as a result and going back into the Japanese yen. Now we disappeared below the 200 day moving average in the last couple of uh, few days or so as of the time of recording at the back end of this current week ahead of the Bank of Japan interest rate policy. And that's the point we've not seen uh, below the 200 day moving average, not seen since the 17th of May. But I think this line here at 140.57 is going to be key. If you get a candle close below there, I'd be then short all the way down to 137.05, which is a swing low on this fib here down there. If you see this area of support um, being an area of support which is holding, uh, I'd be then more keen to go long on this trade uh, out of this. So that's a technical trade out of what is essentially a very fundamental piece of news next Tuesday. But certainly the Tuesday release from the Bank of Japan could well give us some trading volatility.